Arsenal have finally got the confirmation that Yuri and Timber will return after the international break next week. And barring any setbacks, will be a part of the squad in the Manchester City game. With this brilliant news coming, let's talk about how this can impact the squad going forward and could potentially play a part for the rest of the season for Arsenal. Let's get into it. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments that I've been doing very negative videos recently, so I thought, okay, let's get a positive for today. And we definitely got one with the confirmation that Yuri and Timber will be back next week. Now, I've done videos in the past about how he can definitely help Arsenal tactically and how much of an impact it could do but we did actually have that confirmation he was going to come back it was still more speculation when people arguing on Twitter what month he actually is going to come back in but we have seen him in training a lot more recently over the last three four weeks that he's actually been training with the team so it's a very good thing that we're actually finally seeing him get the confirmation that he can play in the Man City game and could potentially come off the bench and now that's the thing I definitely think he'll be coming off the bench and even though I think in training he's actually looked all right and looked up to speed it's obviously going to take some time now if you haven't seen i want to bring some awareness to the new tyrone mings video that came out now tyrone mings also had a recent and similar injury to what yuri and timber had around the same sort of period now mings is also very bad and he is still really struggling slowly coming back to fitness and as you can see in this video his right leg has completely lost all the muscle a part of it this is because this is where the main injury happened and this is what happens in recovery you have to rest it you simply can't be doing much exercise with it and all the muscle of it just completely goes and while obviously we don't know everything but it does seem like Yuri and Timber's muscle is definitely on his legs and he seems a lot more better but obviously these are sort of things you've got to expect and I think susceptible to injuries when you come back is a lot more he might be less willing to go in for a crunch and challenge or a 50 50 because he understands that it's going to go and impact him and could hurt him in the future in his career this is something that people like Aaron Ramsey really struggled with as much as he actually got a lot better player when after he got injured it definitely took a few years for him to get used to it and actually get away from that injury because he was so worried he was going to get injured again and the sharpness of the player for the game is not going to be there it's not going to be that close for a while people can't just expect him to get a man of the match performance when he plays or comes off the bench or even starts a game in the future it's going to take a bit of time for him to get used to it and I'll be surprised if Arteta actually risks starting him for the rest of the season Arsenal have been on brilliant form and although they have a lot of hard games coming up which yeah okay it'd be brilliant if Timber could play in with his sharpness and how much he's actually played this season I'll be very unlikely to see him play unless we get an injury to someone like Ben White where he really has to come in. And this is the thing, I don't know if Urien Timber's really going to be starting any games for the rest of the season. I think maybe when we get into the May and near the end with the last few games left, you might see him come in. But if they're actually still matter for Arsenal and Arsenal are still fighting for a lot, then maybe he's still not risked. And honestly, we don't see him start, but I do expect him to come on a lot. This does mean that players like Zinchenko probably won't get come on as much or people like Kivior's game time will be considerably decreased. And even people like Tommy Yasu have come back from injury now we haven't even seen him since uh, December before he went to the Asian Cup where is it going to be spots for him in the team I think Arsenal are very bloated in fullbacks when Timber comes back and I think you'll start to see that when everyone is fit but considering I think and a lot of people think that he was probably not going to play for the rest of the season after picking up that injury in the first game it's so good to see that he's actually coming back with still a few months to despair still got the rest of April and May to play and there's still a lot of games to be played he's come back with 10 games left and also our two Champions League games could potentially be more. So there's still a lot of football to play. And with the business end of the season, it is a massive boost for the squad. I think mentally, it's going to help the team a lot having someone like Yuri and Timber there because we know how good he is. He got man the match in that Community Shield performance and was brilliant in that game. And I think he was brilliant before he got brought off. And I don't think that we're going to be sacrificing him or using different tactical systems that I think we might have used if he was fit the rest of the season. Like trying to play party in that right back role and trying to do different things. Now it all matters is and now everything comes to fruition so I could just imagine him not really being like that and being used as a proper fullback in his position he also can cover in centre back if you need and can play on either fullback position and with his brilliant on the ball technique honestly putting him in defensive midfield next to Rice isn't the worst option but now we've got party back as well which is another massive boost I wouldn't really expect us to play him there but there's no doubt about it it's basically like having a completely new sign and within the team we barely got to see him actually play at this level and we spent 40 million them in the summer luckily he's young and hopefully he can learn from this and improve hopefully it does not continue some injuries that we don't want to see and this doesn't get spoken about enough but I think Arsenal were incredibly unlucky to get a key player that they signed in the summer just have a massive injury like that only 45 minutes into his Premier League debut imagine if that happened to some of the big players that other teams have signed such as the Erlen Haaland and players like that Urien Timber did not have an extensive injury record before he came here he'd only been injured for a couple of games maybe but nothing really serious in 
in Ajax. And I know a lot of teams have had considerable injury problems this season, such as Liverpool, Newcastle, Man United, and even Man City have had some, but we have had as well. And the problem with both Arsenal is they've, been, they've mostly been in the same position. We've had a lot of struggles in midfield throughout the season in certain places, and we've had a lot of struggles in the fullback areas with Tommy Asu, Zinchenko, and Timber all being at a different time. And if it was, you know, more sporadic around the team, we'd be able to use our depth a bit more, and people would get a game time. If someone like Odegaard was to get injured, we'd get Smith Rowe or Vieira to come in, even Vieira's injured himself. Or in goal, we've got Ramsdale. Even in defence, you can move Kivior to centre back. There's other options you could have done. But when you have all these players in one certain position getting injured, it makes it seem a lot less depth than we need. A lot of people have said that we need more fullbacks, and I actually think we have loads of fullbacks. And I get that people are going, oh, we are one injury away from playing Cedric. But realistically, we don't have in any situation where you need to play Cedric. We have enough players in front of him. If they all get injured, then I'd still pick someone like Walters or Salsa before he left. And even in this summer, I've seen a lot of people say that we need to sign new fullbacks. I saw Mark Goldbridge say it, and I don't really think I necessarily agree. Maybe get someone that can play in a centre back and left back or right back role. A bit of a versatile defender would be a good option. Someone like Gerald Hatto, who I spoke about a few months ago. I don't think we actually need to really cover in that area because we've still got Ben White, we've got Timber, we've got Tommy Asu, we've got Sinchenko. That is enough cover in them positions. And if you need to, you could also move someone like Kivior there as well, who has obviously been playing there brilliantly. And I think when you see Yuri and Timber play again, it will remind everyone that the Arsenal fans know how great he was over the preseason break and obviously against Manchester City and before he came off injured in his first game but I think other people get to see I've called him one of the best fullbacks in the Premier League and now that is a crazy take so he's barely played I know that but I think this guy has the ability right now not even potential I think he has the ability right now to actually be that good and I know it's just such a lame term to be like he transforms Arsenal but I genuinely think he will I think he will make sure everyone knows how good he is and I'm a big fan of people like Kivio I think he's been amazing but when you've got Timber in there I think you'll realise just how special he actually is I hope that Ben White gets a break as well because that guy deserves it and he has played way too much this season than I think anyone expected even himself so I really want Timber to come in and sort of give Ben White a bit of time out as well while also he could also play on that left side and maybe get out Kivior as well. Right now is the calm before the storm definitely us to have some really stressful games coming up after this international break. Obviously Manchester City away is a massive one and that's going to really define our season if we can get something out of that or not but we've got many big games after that as well it's going to be a very tight time near the end of the season and having a massive boost like Yuri and Timber coming back is brilliant. I know apparently right now Gabriel is injured but apparently I think he's going to be fine for the game which obviously we really hope. And of course, we pray that there's going to be no injuries over the international break because this is the biggest moment that we've had in a very long time, especially because we're in the Champions League as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments how excited you are for Yuri and Timber's return. And do you think he will end up starting a game towards the end of the season? Or could you see him having a lot of cameos off the bench? How far do you think his recovery will go? And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And go and watch my video yesterday where I talk about Emil Smith's role, role in the team. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.